Hi guys, uh, I was just going to run through kind of how this FET simulation works we're going to be working on today. Uh, this is a uh, FET called Build an Atom. It's going to teach you about the structure of the atoms, kind of the uh, relationship between protons, neutrons, and electrons, and what happens as you adjust these. Uh, so first thing I want you to do, go ahead and log into the classroom, Google Classroom. You'll notice here I have posted, I posted it on Friday this uh, FET simulation. So just go ahead and click on the link here and it's going to open up this window. Okay, you're going to notice here you have this play button. Go ahead and pop that and it's going to open up the software. So you notice we have three choices. We have this atom thing, we have the symbol, we have the game. What I want you to do is we're going to work through these two things first, the atom and the symbol. This game section is going to be the graded portion. It's going to be how you're going to earn points on it. So the first thing, I just want you to open up this Atoms tab. And a couple of things for the settings. First thing, let's make this bigger so you'll notice there is a plus button here. Go ahead and activate that. Same thing here under the mass number. You can expand this. Go ahead and do that as well. Also, I want to check this box down in this area, the stable, unstable. So go ahead and uh, highlight that guy. I'm having trouble. There we go. Okay, so first off, I just want you to play around with this. Just kind of see how this thing works. And so you'll notice the instructions say use the tools to build any three different types of atoms. And you want to fill in the information. Now notice below it says we want to make certain that the charge is zero. So the net charge, it has no charge. And we want the nucleus to be stable. We don't want this thing being radioactive, this thing falling apart. Okay, so... Uh, we're just going to build some different examples, so I want to show you here. I'm going to start by grabbing just some protons and kind of throwing them in here. Okay. And so let's say I want to do one with, let's say, three. Okay. And let's say I want to throw some neutrons in here as well. And look kind of where they go. So these protons are the red ones. The neutrons are kind of gray. Oh, notice the nucleus stopped kind of shaking around. Uh, notice at this point, though... We still have a we still have a charge over here, right? So to get rid of this to get rid of this charge, uh, we need to add some electrons. Let's add some electrons to this thing. Okay, still kind of has a charge. Oh, there we go. And it even says right here, it says neutral atom. So that's the key. We want it to be stable. It's not shaken, and it's neutral. Notice up here, it even tells you the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons you've added. And there isn't a, a, a magic number. So, like, notice if, if I take, like, another neutron and I throw it in there, it's still stable. Okay? If I throw another one, though, oh, there it's unstable. So, yeah, we want it to be stable. Let's leave it like this. Okay? So, for element one, uh, you'd name it. Okay? And so, notice here is the, the name right here. So, we've built an atom of lithium. Okay? And so I'd look how many protons I have. Well, it looks like we have three neutrons. And this example I've built here, it has four. And then the electrons, it looks like three. And so I want you to sketch kind of roughly what it looks like here. It's not going to be perfect, but you can tell, you know, protons, neutrons, electrons, kind of where they're at. Okay, uh, the atomic number. Uh, the atomic number, you don't have that yet, but it's going to be uh, really the same as these proton numbers. So this one will be atomic number three. The mass is listed right here, okay, seven. And then it says the symbol on the periodic table, that's over in this area. So here's your symbol for this one. We built, it looks like an atom of lithium. So I want you to play around with it, do a couple more, and see what happens, okay? Then it's going to ask you a couple of questions like, what subatomic particle determines the identity of the atom? Look at that and see which one you think um, that affects. Okay, I'm going to flip over now uh, to number four in this packet that you've received. And it says, okay, we're going to create a hydrogen atom. It says one proton, neutron, one electron. So I'm going to go ahead down here and I'm going to hit this reset button right here. And so that's going to, hold on here. All right, so here's the reset. We're going to depress this guy. It's going to clear it. So we want one proton, one neutron, electron. Okay, so I grab a proton, grab a neutron, grab an electron. Okay, so it says follow the directions, observe what happens. So what you're going to do, you're going to do this. You're going to add the first, it says a neutron. How does it change it? 
Okay. Then you're going to go back to the initial one and it says you're going to add an electron. What changes? Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing starting with the base element. We're going to add a proton. What changed? Okay. And make certain, I guess I forgot to do this, but in the beginning, once again, we're going to expand both of these so we can see them. We want them to be like this. And then also I would expand this guy. So you have these features on the uh, stable, unstable, the charge, the mass, that stuff. Okay. So I want you to just do that, kind of make observations. Um, and answer, you know, questions five, six, seven, all that stuff. Okay. On the next page, the next page, we're going to be dealing with the symbol one now instead. So down here along the bottom, we've got Adam. We're going to switch over here to the symbol one. So let's select the symbol. This is going to be similar. And once again, I think I might turn uh, this guy on so we can see stable and unstable. Okay. This time it's a little different. So instead of just building the model, um, it's going to show what this should look like on the periodic table, okay? And so, um, once again, you can do just three new atoms, and we're going to see what happens to this section here on the table. So, let's say this time I want to put, let's say I want to put six in here. Three, four, five. I'm going to put six protons, okay? Well, I want this thing to be kind of neutral. So let's start putting some, or excuse me, stable. There's a stable one. Okay. And yet I don't want it to have a charge. So I need to put some electrons in here. Okay. Notice the charge over here right now. It says we're at positive five. We want that thing to be neutral right now. We need to start chucking some electrons in here. Okay. Notice the charge is now gone. But you can even do this if you want, and you can, uh, if you want to put different numbers of electrons, you know, maybe I want one less in there. Let's pull one out. Look what happens to the charge over here. Or let's say I want to add maybe a couple to it. What happens to the charge? Okay. So look at what happens to the mass, to the charge, the atomic number. Okay. Draw those symbols, what they would look like. Okay. After you're done doing this and you've kind of played around for a while, you've built some atoms, uh, you've looked at how their symbols look, this is going to be the graded portion. Okay, so what you need to do is you're going to go through and you're going to play a series of four games. You'll notice this tab down here is games. They've got four of them. They've got this guy. They've got this one. They've got this one. And this kind of mystery game. So four games. And we need to kind of choose some of these different ones. So uh, I can go ahead and show you these because it mixes the games up for everybody. It's not going to spoil it. I'm going to show you kind of how this thing works. All right, so in this instance here, it says find the elements. So we look at this. Hmm. Looks like we have one red uh, dot in there. So that is a proton. Uh, since there is one, I know hydrogen has an atomic number one. I'm going to select that. Now it asks, is it neutral or is it an ion? Well, I have a positive charge. I have no negative charges. This thing is an ion. I check my work. I click check. Ding, I'm correct. It gives me a smiley face. Might be a good idea to turn the sound down on your uh, laptop so we don't have, you know, 25 people going ding, ding, ding. You know, we get these correct. All right, find the element. It has seven protons. So seven. I look over at element with atomic number seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like probably should be nitrogen. I'm going to select it. Notice I have seven protons, ten electrons. Let's say uh, I say it's a neutral atom. It's not. It's going to be an ion. But let's say I mess it up. Oops. Try again. I say, oh, those numbers are different. So let's say it's nitrogen, but it is an ion. There we go. Okay. And we're going to go through these. I'm going to do these real quick. And let's see. Hydrogen and this thing has an ion. And last one. Neutral. Okay. All right. You'll notice the score. I got 7 out of 10. Or, and excuse me, 9 out of 10. Uh, every time you uh, miss one, it takes off like a half a point. 
So if you miss them both, you miss a full point. Um, you have to score four out of five stars. So three and a half is not four. Okay, so you need to score either four, four and a half, or five stars. And that will give you, uh, it'll demonstrate to me that, that you understand what's going on, all right? That you have some level of mastery. And so after you're done, you're going to go ahead and click this next button, continue. You're going to do the same thing for these other games, all right? I can show you just a couple here on the mystery one. Here's one where it gives me the symbol. So protons, that's going to be the same as the atomic number. I'm going to make that 12, okay? Uh, neutrons, well, if I know the atomic mass is 26 and the uh, number of protons is 12, if I subtract that, it gives me 14, so I want to put 14 on here. Okay, plus 2, that means I have two more protons that are positive than the electrons that are negative, so I want to make this guy 10, okay? And let's check my work, see if I'm correct. I am. Okay, so there's different things it'll ask you on this one. Uh, for this example, I have helium, so atomic number is 2. I'm going to put two protons in there. Mass is 3. That means I only need one neutron. And now it has no, so no charge. That means electrons and protons are equal. Okay. And so you just go through and you do this, all right? And let's say I miss this. And it'll show you the answer if you're wrong. So if you're wrong a couple of times, it'll tell you what the answer is and why. So let's say here I did this one. I only got 4 out of 10. I would need to go back and redo this game. So if I hit continue, it's going to bring you back to this screen. And you can do this test over. Okay, and so let's see. Two red balls and one gray one. So mass of three, no charge. Okay, let's see. Seven protons. Seven neutrons, seven electrons. Uh, let's see, eight protons, and let's see, nine neutrons, so eight, nine should be 17. And check that, all right? Anyway, I'm just going to show you real quick. It puts your new score in there, 6 out of 10. Still not good enough. You have to go back and do some more practice. But anyway, when you finish, take a screenshot, save it so that I can look at it and give you credit for when I return. You need a minimum of 4 out of 5 stars on each game in order to be considered successful.